Hey, what is up you guys? Today I'm going to be doing a quick tutorial on how to mod Blade and Sorcery and I'm going to show you how to do it with Oculus or Steam and this is going to be for PC RAN VR systems so I'm using an Oculus Rift S so really any PC RAN VR will work for this tutorial Now I'm actually first going to go over how to use Vortex Mod Assistant that's actually Nexus Mod's main mod assistant that you use to actually put the mods into the game so I'm going to be going over that. That's probably the easiest way to go about it, but I am at the end going to show you how to do a manual install of mods as well. Now I'm going to show you why I think Vortex is the way to go, but yes, I will be showing you how to manually add those mods yourself just directly into the game folder. The first things first, you're going to want to go to your web browser and go to Nexus mods or just Google it, whatever you want to do. Then just click right on Nexus Mods up here. And right when you're on Nexus Mods to get the Vortex Mod Assistant right in the search bar here, easiest way is just to type in Vortex. It's gonna be the first one that pops up right here. And click right on that. And then you're gonna hit manual download. And that is going to take you to a page where you can download it. Now I already have Vortex, so I'm not gonna really show you any of that uh, not until you actually get vortex opened up here and then sorry one thing too before you actually start downloading stuff they're probably gonna have you up on the top right here actually log into an account so if you have not made an account yet for this website pause this video right now make an account quick and then just come back and start right where we left off so now once you have vortex downloaded and installed you're gonna want to open that up Wherever you saved it, pop it open. So once you have Vortex up on the top right here, you're gonna wanna log in once again. It should actually redirect you to where you just logged in in Nexus Mods, and it should auto log you in that way. And then right on the left here, you're gonna wanna hit Games. And you might have to actually search for a specific game, but mine actually pops up right here, Blade and Sorcery. It's not grayed out like the other ones because I already have it installed on my PC. So just hit Manage. And that's going to put it up here into your managed games and vortex should actually automatically direct it right to where it needs to be to actually save the mods to the folder uh, but just to make sure basically go up to this plus sign right here click it and this is the path that it automatically did for me so c drive program files 86 steam steam apps common and blade and sorcery so you just got got to basically find your game wherever it's saved to if this doesn't show up for you try this path out this is probably the most basic path that you're actually going to have it saved to and then this is actually for steam vr i will right below actually put the path for oculus or most commonly where blade and sorcery will be if you're using the oculus store but anyways now that we have that path set up now we have to go back to nexus mods that's actually the website where we're going to get the mods to actually add into the game so pop nexus mods back open go back to the main page here and then right down here you'll see view all games you can click right on that and just type in blade and sorcery or blade uh, mine actually has popped up right here but basically right here search for blade and sorcery and click right on it and this is basically going to pop up all the mods that have been created so you can go to like hot mods currently you can do all-time popular mods that they've had latest they kind of break it down into some nice categories so let's go up to hot mods. Those are usually the ones that are most downloaded. They're probably the ones that are going to work the best or are the coolest. And just for this example, I'm gonna pick Half-Life 1 pack. If you click right on that, it's gonna pop up. It's gonna show you some pictures of what you're getting. So this one is a few weapons. You get the crowbar, you get the SMG and the pistol from Half-Life 1. And all you're gonna do to get this mod into Blade and Sorcery using Vortex is right on the right here by download, you're gonna hit Vortex. Easy enough, right? And unless you're rich and wanna pay for premium on Nexus mods, right under here, you're gonna be limited at a download speed of two megabits, but that's fine. So just do the free download. And then right here, it's gonna say, open vortex you'll click right on that and that's automatically going to pop it back over to vortex so now close back out of this window so in the downloads tab here it's going to show the actual half-life one pack downloading now so we're going to wait for this to be finished all right now that it's finished you can either hit install right here or right up at the top in your notification section it's going to say half-life one pack downloaded all you have to do 
is hit install and once it's installed you can enable it and that's going to enable it to actually work directly into the game so now i can go down to mods here and it's going to show that i have a half-life mod pack enabled on the game and if i go back to games here it says one active mod which means it successfully went into blade and sorcery and then it should just be saved directly into your weapons book and then the creators of the actual mod usually categorize it just like it is in the book so you might have to look for it for a little bit and I will show this uh, example later in the video, but now that we figured out how easy it is to use Vortex mods, uh, I wanna tell you why I think it's a little bit better than manual installs. So back down here to mods, if you go, go there, you can actually just check for updates frequently. So let's say a new version of the game comes out, all you have to do is come back to here, check for updates, and it's gonna let you know out of your giant list of mods, which ones need to be updated and it's as easy as that to make sure that they're you know going to continue working for you or let's say you no longer want a mod installed in your game all you have to do over here is come to remove and boom it's out of the game you don't have to worry about going into a file and deleting stuff so that's why i personally like using vortex but for those people that do not want to download an extra piece of software onto their Computer, I totally understand. So right now I'm gonna also show you how to download it manually and just place it into the folder where it needs to be. Yeah, overall adding a manual mod isn't very difficult. It is a little bit different of a process. So uh, first I'm gonna show you the Steam way since once again, I'm using Blade and Sorcery on Steam. If you are using Oculus, I will once again, pop up the, the pathway that you're gonna most likely have to find your game on your computer. So you're gonna open up the file explorer, you're gonna go down to Windows C, program files 86. Once you're on there, you're gonna scroll down until you see Steam, so right here. And then right in Steam, you're gonna to wanna to go under Steam Apps. Once you're in Steam Apps, hit Common. And that's where you're gonna see all of your Steam games that you have downloaded. So I'm gonna double click on Blade and Sorcery. And then Blade and Sorcery Data and then streaming assets. Once you're in there, this is actually, as you can see right here, you can see the Half-Life pack was added directly to this folder. Uh, so this is where you're gonna manually save the actual mods. So let's just minimize that now for a second here. And then you yeah, actually manually adding a mod is pretty much just as easy. So instead of hitting download on Vortex like we did before, you're just gonna hit manual. Once you click manual, it is going to have you Hit slow download here, unless you want to pay for premium, you can download at your max download availability. Take about five seconds to start downloading, and then on the bottom left, you're gonna see the download folder. And once that is done downloading, you can minimize this. And then I actually already pulled up my downloads folder here. And then you're gonna to wanna to pull up that pathway that we found before. So where all of your mods save to. And then all you're gonna do is drag and drop into that folder. Now this is a zipped folder, you do need to extract it, whether you're using like WinRAR or like 7-zip, uh, whatever you're doing, you're gonna wanna extract it. So I'm just gonna right click it. And then under 7-zip, I'm gonna hit, oops, 7-zip, I'm gonna hit extract here. And you're gonna see Sword of the Six Sages right here, added to the modded folder. And you can actually just right click on the zipped file and delete it. I've had no issues doing it this way either. So not all mods on Nexus mods are actually available to use Vortex. So sometimes you do need to do this manual option and it's good to know how to do it. So now you do. So yeah, guys, once you're actually in the actual game, you just got to go over to your book and you're going to see all of your new weapon mods. So you might have to search, like I said earlier, for like certain ones, like I added a sword. Right here, Sword of the Six Ages, I can just hit take, and boom, I have this gigantic sword now in my hand. Uh, let's just strap it on my back, why not? And then same goes for the Half-Life Alex stuff we did through Vortex. Uh, this one actually added its own category, sometimes they do that. Uh, click right on that. It's going to show you all the ones we added. I'm going to grab this SMG, strap that on my hip, and same here with the pistol. And pretty cool. They updated it recently, so now you actually have to slide it. Yeah, let's uh, so yeah, let's play around a little bit.